everybody, it's me again. I'm here with a short episode, something I've been tossing around for a little while. <clears throat> We're instead of talking about something huge, uh, some big issue that's happening around the world or something that's important to me or maybe somebody else. <clears throat> I'm going to do some little short snippets, kind of like ghetto vines, I guess you would call them, where I bring up 12, 15 things and... Uh, just say something. It could be something personal about me. It could be something a friend said or something I want to talk about, but I may not have enough to say about it to put it in a full-length video. It could be something random about life or just some fact about me from my past or something like that. Maybe get you guys to get to know me a little better. Things of that nature. And, um, pretty sure what I'm going to call this segment is, uh, Half Pints, because there's not enough to make a full video about it. So, without further ado, here we go. <clears throat> I got an extreme phobia of flying cockroaches. Um, I'll either flee for my life or fight to the death when I see one, depending on how sober I am. It doesn't matter if the United States antagonizes Kim Jong-un. He's going to do it anyway. If every non-immigrant citizen in America right now were to take the immigrant exam without the aid of Google, most of them would fail. Love it when you go to a country bar and see hundreds of people line dancing perfectly to bodies from Johnny Pool. A good friend of mine once told me it's a bad idea to give ice cubes to dogs <clears throat> because it's hard for them to digest. I think D'Angelo Williams, Brandon Marshall, and the Dallas Cowboys should sue the NFL for not being able to express their freedom of expression or freedom of speech on the field. I'll never let my kids win at board games. Losing's a part of life. One of my dogs is named after my favorite brewery. The Foo Fighters made me famous when I was in 1-7 in the 90s. <clears throat> 25 years ago, I took a lesbian to homecoming on purpose, and we're still friends today. Some of my best friends don't drink, aren't white, aren't straight, and never served in the military. Every time I take a shit, in my head I yell, frag out! And sometimes I do it out loud. I have a seven month old puppy who eats and grows like a teenage boy. I've lost some good friends to war, but I've lost more good friends to their own devices. New York State, one of the most liberal states in the greater 48, still waste taxpayers' money to raid marijuana farms. Meanwhile, back on the West Coast, speaking of the West Coast, today's beer is Green Flash West Coast IPA. I live in Southern California, so <clears throat> there's not exactly as short as a great beers to have here.
Just about everything from Green Flash is tasty. If you haven't really gotten into craft beer yet, you live in Southern California, Green Flash is a great place to start. They got a lot of great pails, great IPAs, probably one of my favorite reds. They make stouts, barley wines, make all kinds of beers. They do different flavors, they have different barrel aging. They're kind of a San Diego staple. West Coast IPA on its own is a great beer. It's an 8%, 8.1 if you're counting. Uh, it's got that big hot profile that a lot of your California IPAs have. And uh, it's got a little bit of maltiness on it to cut that edge off. So it's like a combination. It's a great beer. It's one of those beers you want to drink outside when it's 90 degrees out and you want to catch a buzz while planting roses in your front yard. So the point of this particular video is, as much as I like to talk about serious shit in life, I like to fuck around and be a normal dude too. So. Before you get too serious over shit like the fly on my head, relax and have a beer. If you like what you see in this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And there's a particular topic that you saw in this video that you maybe want to see me enhance a little more, drop me a message. I'll see what I can do. Cheers.